Hi, John here. It's uh, Friday the 5th of October 2017. I just got a ring King each other. Where is he? Where is he? There he goes. Yeah, hi Kingy, uh, John here. Uh, just check your email, I just sent the, uh, all the stuff I sent to those other guys up north um, and have a look, okay? I'll catch up with you, bye. Um, today, I've just been, um, um, actually I'm just going through uh, the um, tag pay Cheers, and um, with my new um, manager for the website, my mypowerhouse.com, and uh, she'll pick up on everything's quite complex uh, to start with because she's uh, new to it. But um, she's a PhD in economics and business, so won't take her much. Doctor. Um, Dr. Um, Cecile Hoots and her British husband um, Dion. So I'll be working very closely with them. I trust them that they will do a good job and um, working with uh, Jackie and um, Andy Little Gordon in Scotland. Um, on the business. I'll be with Jackie uh, working from um, Westminster uh, City uh, before long. Uh, so this is how I was going to do it. At the present time we've got um, Graham Allett, my private investigator. He's an ex-British detective from Scotland Yard and I get on very well with him. He's looking over all the files right back to 2012 with uh, Charles Hirschfeld, uh, barrister. He's in our family on the East Coast um, um, on the Marangaro blocks and a nephew of Sue Nikoras. So Sue Nikoras is very up to it on, on land titles, married land titles. So I've got no problem there with those two if called upon. Uh, but in the meantime, um, um, Yu Tai Choi, my South Korean lawyer, has gone and disappeared. Um, but I've still got my book there. This book here, I've dropped into him. The new Native Magistrate, um, Native Magistrate Court in Te Unga Wakamarae, Ibsen and the Paramount Chiefs. So he's got that, but his secretary says they want to return it. He doesn't want to know anything about what he signed John Key's head into the High Court of Admiralty in London, and now it's become worse as accessories to John Key's fraud and to um, Sean Elias, Chief Justice of New Zealand's fraud, to uh, Patsy Reilly, the Governor General's fraud, to um, Anand Satinan, New Zealand's Governor General uh, fraud, and Jerry Mataparai Andrews fraud, to um, John Key, ex Prime Minister's fraud, to Bill English fraud, to Ian New Zealand 
accessories to John Key's fraud. The list goes on. They've libeled each other and there's no way they're going to get out of this law. Not with this British, ex-British um, um, detective. The British are our partners and that goes for the military and navy. First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, is now looking at what's happening here in this country and the rest of the world, and in particular America and the Queen and the Rothschild banks. Very serious that John Key has libeled a whole lot of them, got caught with Hillary Clinton sending $13 million of stolen money from the taxpayers. He's defrauded in New Zealand. And the courts have covered him up with Yu Tai Choi. I'm citing him and his staff in his YT Choi lawyer's office in downtown Auckland, 17 Albert Street. Okay, so take notice, Mr. Choi. You're on notice from the Paramount Chiefs and myself, the surrogate king, William the Fourth. <coughs> and surrogate King William III, jurisdiction of admiralty, court, martial, law, on you. You see all the X here, 1984 pages, that's all it takes to hang anybody who is interfering or tampering with our private contract between the Paramount Chiefs, myself, Sheriff, and Register of the Courts for criminals on our register list in Te Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand. Serious, serious, serious. We're on a case now that John Key, you're first up. There's a warrant out for your arrest and seize all of your property, assets, right through the world with this flag and the Marshal's hat. That's my marshal's hat. We're coming after you. The landowners of Cook Street, Simon Brent Ramtree and James Pierce Brown, you two, there's a rush, rest warrant out for you and the barrister, the private investigator is right on to it now. I don't have to say much. He can pick it off Google and YouTube, Twitter <coughs> and Facebook. All the information's there, he can pluck it off rather than me saying it. I will list out everything right to the point that he's got bundles of information that he's now <coughs> going to send me an invoice for all the work he's done, more than two hours, <coughs> of <coughs> this case right back. Right back as far as 2008, when the eight, 2008 on Cook Street, before you two owners got it. It was a bad title and I'm very good at real estate and land titles, especially native Moriori land titles that go back to 1820 in Burma Magistrate Court with Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manakao, the paramount chief of One Tree Hill Memorial and Mangatauteri Mountain. Cambridge, Waikato region. <coughs> so that's where I'm coming from. Whose land is this? It certainly isn't your spill English. And what Judith Collins is doing, screwing the logs out of the ground, busting fuel lines to the airport with her Chinese husband. You're on notice, both of you. With the milk scandal and everything else you're involved with as a police minister. Judith Collins, you're the biggest racketeering bitch out. I can say that on this video. I can say what I like. Because the British have got their eye right on you. You're going to get locked up. There'll be a warrant for you and your arrest before long. These chiefs have sorted you out. The Paramount Chiefs are the commercial landowners of this country, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, and any other native chief who cares, Paramount Chief, who cares to want to join in the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. It has to be a trust in order to play the game, the dirty corporate game. 
of the Rostovs and Queen Elizabeth II and her royal family is corrupted, fraud, no coronation, no seals, nothing, just plain nothing. That's how this government in New Zealand operates, on nothing. That's the whim and fake Maori. <coughs> I'll say that. I'll say that on this video. <coughs> I'll try it again. But that's the reality. That's the reality of what is happening here. I'll just try and ring him again. I want to, I want to talk to him. I'll go through the trouble calling these guys because it's on the record. These ones got frozen and they don't answer them. Oh well, no matter. Uh, so, there we go. We've got the uh, line up today of the case to continue. I'm going to write it all up of the latest added on to all the other documents that Graham Ellis has got. Now, I've spent a bit of time with him in the city when I was living in Tapora Place. For Tapora place, and he's come there and sat down with me. So it's not as though he doesn't know, he does know everything. And he goes into all the personal files of people to find who's who. The British get their cut out of this. He's doing a good service for the British and us, the partner of the British, not the New South Wales Australia. Here he is. Hello, Kingy. Kingy. Hello? Yeah, uh, I just emailed uh, the stuff that I've been sent to, to those other guys up north. Just oh, to, yeah. so that you, you can see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so that it's, it's a little bit much, but just skip through it. It's all uh, what's happened on Cook Street. I'm, I'm, I'm going to secure Cook Street. And once I get that with the, bar with the um, private investigator, that's the British ex-British uh, detective guy. He's better than anything now uh, because that other uh, South Korean lawyer took off. That's, yeah, you were saying. Yeah, no good, man. Doesn't look good for him now because of, Why? Because John Key got caught um, giving Hillary, Hillary Clinton stole $13 million of taxpayer money, sent it to Hillary Clinton for the terrorists. And that's why he left quick. And now he's working in Australia with the New Zealand, so he's gone and libeled them too. You see? Yeah. And the banks. He's libeled the whole banks. That's what all, I'm chasing after him now. And this guy will go and chase after him. He'll chase after those two landowners and, and lock them up. Lock, lock them up. And Judas Clark. Why did he go to John King? Eh? Why did he go to John King? Who? Uh, the lawyer. Yeah. Because he was my lawyer and. South Korea is America. Uh, all, 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 all the TPPA goes through South Korea and, and Singapore. So the Asians are tied up in, in America with, with him. This is the top lawyer in this country that I went for, you see. And I, and I haven't paid his bill. He, he doesn't want to get paid either. You see, there's something not right. But he's covering up the fraud in, in uh, uh, John Key's been up to while well, he's been a Prime Minister. The banks, it's the banks that John Key's been Merrill Lynch, Lynch Bank. And now it's, it's got worse for him because he's stolen money out of New Zealand. Stole, stole, uh, he's defrauded the public on New Zealand, that's the trouble. And nobody's doing anything about it. If I don't do anything about it, he gets away with all that. And Judith Collins stole those logs, that's another one. See, they're still doing it. They're doing it all the time. Okay. All right? Okay. Have, yeah. a, have a read of it, but those other fellows are, are around to it. You don't have to worry about anything. You just wait till I get Cook Street and, and then I'll work on your on those land blocks up there next. Waitangi, yeah. Waitangi and, and Titi will be the next to get back. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay mate. Bye. Okay. There we go. That's King. Just to keep in touch with him. He signed all my documents right through the years 
I've known him for 20 years or so, and we get along with each other. It, sometimes it goes pear-shaped, but eventually he comes out. We put our differences aside. <coughs> he signed a proclamation with the other chiefs, so now they're talking to each other. That's a miracle. That's a real miracle in my time of being up at Waitangi. I'm going back up there, I think it's the 20th, for another big meeting. But uh, it's generally about what they want to do, and if I talk, I talk. That's if they want me to talk, but I'm, I'm, I'm going there to support uh, everything we're doing here. All the legal stuff here, uh, the whakameninga, um, so Bundy says, uh, doesn't want anything to do with trusts. So that's fine. That, it'll work out. doesn't matter. He has the right to say anything. The Paramounties have the right to say anything. But I'm there for the bank to provide for any um, claims that come in. The claims have got to be processed back through Britain because the British have still got the leaseholds of this place, the 99-year leaseholds, and shorter lease, 25-year lease, all those. It still belongs to the king, no matter what. Nobody owns land. That's what, it's, that's what the law says in this book. Nobody owns land. It's just leased. It goes back to the landowners, the commercial landowners. It won't go back to the native landowners because it's been phased right out. They'll have to go and shoot people off the land to get it back. That's a native. But that's not going to happen because there's laws over there. If the natives got their own government. You'll be getting somewhere. So that's what the fuck are many It's It's supposed to be a government upper house of this country. The lower house is in Wellington. It is not an upper house. They cannot get an upper house with this flag in the road. The 1835 Declaration of Independence has been uh, annulled by the New South Wales government in Wellington. <coughs> and they made their 1840 Treaty of Waitangi out of it. And that's where all the scam is. It was scam set up by the white Maoris in Australia. <coughs> and the white Maoris still doing the racket now. With Win Winston Peters, he's no different. He still gets the bill. He's got a trillion pounds on his head, bounty. All of them, doesn't matter. Whether he looks good, whether he sounds good, it's still the same thuggery going on in there. They've got all their hands in the pot. And they're going to be wiped right out. The only way to do is Whakamenia will wipe them all out. That's their job, because they are the commercial landowners. Says who not? Winston Peters? You'll have to talk to those paramount chiefs, because they won't have a bar of what you're saying. They won't have a bar of it, because they want to run things their way. It'll go better. There's no use getting an old dog to be a, a, a minister in a whakamininga. It just doesn't work. They'll have to use their own brain. So, I'm not in the whakamininga. I'm in the Declaration of War side, the opposite side of that flag, the 1834. So the Paramount Chiefs are the 13 Chiefs. The Declaration of Independence 1835 is the 38 Chiefs. Right, that's the difference on this flag. The opposite side of the 1834 Declaration of War flag to the Whakameninga. That's what I'm all about. I'm on the British side of the Whakameninga flag. The Whakameninga flag doesn't want anything to do with commerce. It just doesn't want anything. It's more spiritual. So Bundy has the job of keeping it spiritual and native origin. In the meantime, I'm on the other side. I'm at war. I'm at war, as would be Hongi Hika. So Hongi Hika in the Whakameninga is rather tame. It, it doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to put up a fight. I'll do all the fighting on this side. Roll by myself. Right? Because there's nobody else talking about it being a declaration of war flag. Only Mati Tarawa did that in the Confederation. He was talking that language. He was right. He was the opposite to Mohi Manaka. Mohi Manaka didn't want war. He just wanted to sell the land. Because his ancestor sold it. Legally. Sold it because it was going to get taken anyway by the British or the French. But the British got the upper hand.
because they had a native who went there and signed it. Te Ra Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, Paramount Chief, save this country for all you people. If you only knew that it was Kawara, so you won't find out because it's a Freemasons Manukau secret that I've gone and let you all know because if Mani Mahi Manukau let anybody know, he told me he gets a silver bullet. Well, there's plenty of people know now, they can all get a silver bullet because I'm on the side of the Freemasons as they are the instrument holders of all those documents, birth certificates, permits, licenses, land titles, all those things that make up legal documents. <coughs> I'm on that side. <coughs> but it's changing phase. It's going into the New World Order, which is this flag. On its own admiralty, ship and court martial law. This book. Right? The Freemasons will be very interested in this book because this is all about the Moriori Manukau title. Now, there's only one recipient of that, and that's but, um, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, because he's a straight Moriori. The name Mohini, the name Parapara, and the name Manukau. They go together. Those three names are the oldest names in this country that the British picked, apart from Wano, but that's Tahitian, that came later. It's in this order, Moriori, Cook Island, then Tahiti. Tahiti meaning the Tainuis, the Ngāpuis, the later Ngāpuis, and um, Arawa, Te Arawa, all those Tongans, Rarotongans, uh, and so forth. All the Pacific Island people come afterwards, right after the Moriori. That's a British title. That's the British title over the world, over the whole world. So, Bundy, uh, you carry on with your whakamininga, with Kingi, and you're all arikis in your own right, but you're also commercial landowners, if you want to be. If you want to be. I, I know you don't want to be, but I've put you there anyway, as on the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. I want to make this myself clear that I'm running a big ship here, right through the world, and that's the other side of the flag. The Declaration of War flag created the bank wars. It created all this fraud and corruption because the pirates got a hold of it and made you pirates. It made everybody in the world pirates except them, the Rothschilds and Queen Victoria family, royal family. Not royal, I wouldn't say royal, but they're the thugs and pirates who took over this flag and used it on the people with the churches. The churches used it, now the Pope has got rid of their admiralty laws, their UCC laws, canon law, courier law, civil law, <coughs> and UCC law, and they don't want to have a bar of it. You know, they walk away as if nothing happened, but they got all the money out of it. They got all the money out of it. That's why you're getting all billed. You're going to get billed back. The British will take care of that. And if Theresa May, she's a bit tied up in, in other illegal matters, and so we're going to cut right through it with um, um, Foster, uh, Aileen, Aileen Foster, first Prime Minister of uh, Northern Ireland, Belfast. Now, that's my family in Belfast. The Wainor, Rogan, Costco, Rogan, Judge, Costco, Lawyers. Right there, St. Patrick is our title. That's our title. Oh, one minute. Hold it. Yeah. I'm not caught now. I'm not caught.
making video. Honey. Yeah, that's my friend in Philippines, Menes Flores. Uh, she's going to be working with me and traveling. Uh, but that's it. That, that's good. Uh, I want to keep a family situation with this business, family orientated in the good life of common people. Uh, so um, this is where we are at the moment. The private investigator go after John Key. I've got his, I've got Yu Tai Choi's signature, his stamp, I put it on, you can see it on my side, his seal and his signature and John Key's name in the box. That's legal. You can't change it. it I've got the video there with the High Court of Admiralty in London, Kirsty Irving, saying she received them and Judge David Lindsay Mackey will look at it. So that is still open. It's still open. I just didn't do anything about it because I had no money to pay anybody. Still haven't got any money to pay anybody. So what's this is what's going to happen, people. Okay, that's my friend. She's going to look after me. And that'll be fine. So, where was I? Um, so now, we need to raise the money to pay my private investigator, Graham Allen. He's going to send me an invoice. And so what I'm going to do today with Cecile Hoots, our new uh, uh, manager, general manager here, uh, of the company, my powerhouse group here in New Zealand, private company, and Nga Tuewa Aotea Limited, um, registered company, <coughs> and my Crown King William IV Trust. So those three companies will be running, and my Crown, fourth company, will be running here from New Zealand. Now, I'm going to get the tag peg going on the website. She's getting herself familiar with the website. And we're going to let the shares out at £25, pounds, British pounds, a share. In return for that, you get a free £25 pound share, one share, which will virtually mean you get a share for free. And doesn't cost you anything, in a sense. But we need to raise the money <coughs> One billion shares here in New Zealand and <coughs> in each of 250 <coughs> countries in the world. But are you sure you are filming? Yes. I'm working on working on it. <coughs> um, 250 countries in the world. She's very worried about me, uh, Menes, um, in Philippines. Very good girl, um, family girl. Anyway, there's one billion shares in each of 250 countries. countries, a billion shares each. So if you are in any one of the 250 countries on our website, moaipowerhouse.com, M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M, go onto that site and you'll see the application form right in front. You fill it out, the most that we require, the minimum that we require is a phone mobile number. 
put your country's code on it as well, so that we register you to claim all that we claim back. That includes Cook Street and every other property after that right through the world. This flag sends us right through the world, free passage of a king, and that was given to us in 20th of March, 1834, applies. Okay, so that um, we need to raise the money to pay, initially to pay the Barris, uh, the, sorry, the private investigator, he's an ex-British uh, detective from Scotland Yard, and he's not going to let this one slide with any criminals in New Zealand and around the world for that matter. And he'll be operating with us here and Britain in Westminster, uh, Paddington. So I'll have a big office there and a place uh, for him, for, for home, for us and our staff and our chiefs when they come there. I'm setting that up now. And also in um, where uh, Balmoral area where um, Jackie and um, uh, Andy, Little Gordon, are operating with us. They've known me for a long, long time. So we're s sticking with the Scottish and the Freemasons there in um, Edinburgh and the Edinburgh Magistrate Court, straight to Westminster Magistrate Court to keep the documents intact with us, the native, right through the world. All the native lands will be uniform under this flag and the Paramount Chiefs here in New Zealand because they're looking after New Zealand and the Pacific Islands will come in their own one by one. But in the meantime, if you want to buy a 25 pound share in the Moai Tidal Energy Project, then put your details on the front and if you've got a mobile phone, put your mobile phone number there. Or just any phone number, a cheap phone will do. It'll, it'll work on tag pay on any phone. And it doesn't matter if it's an a expensive phone or a cheap phone, it will work. But later on, we'll provide phones, updated phones, so that you have contact with us. And uh, shareholding and also with voting from around the world in the 250 countries. So I'm going to let this do this next week. Um, before the end of the month we should be functioning. Before the 28th of October our 1835 Declaration of Independence Day will have this all up and running. With the bank going, the Maui Powerhouse Bank and the pound note will be in the ANZ bank for a start. Um, the benefits of joining early is that we are selling one trillion pound note as a bond bounty on John Key's head to the ANZ bank Auckland main branch of this country. I've been in the ANZ and the National Bank for a long time as a businessman uh, in real estate matters and in building and construction and also brokering, uh, bank brokering in the National Bank, Clive Merritt, Queen Street. Okay? I know what I'm doing, especially when it comes to land titles. So we've got, now we've got a return on the tidal energy, hydrogen, jet and rocket fuels of oxygen rocket fuels and hydrogen liquid hydrogen fuels for the new space age passenger aircraft and that's that one it's a three to one ratio that means when you put 25 pounds in you get 50 pounds a week back every week non-stop that's a guarantee from me on the figures of PricewaterhouseCoopers and Kowi C-O-W-I, Design Engineers in Denmark. So that's why I wanted the South Korean lawyer, he asked me back in 2015, he wanted the contract. Oh John, can I do the contract for South Korea? Kui. 
See, he didn't know anything about that Kui engineering company until I told him. I said, no, I'll do it. And see, then I offered, I wrote a letter, you'll read it on my Facebook site, offering that job to him. I haven't heard back. Silence. Silence in the court, the monkey wants to talk. Or the monkey won't talk. There's a monkey in the room. And so, uh, he hasn't answered my letter. That's unusual for a business with a letterhead, and all our letterheads and letters, legal letters, I can write them any way I like, they've got photos on them. You can't remove them because the British are party and partner to what I write in my own fashion. No one can inquire into private contract with Britain. Okay, that's why I make a private contract and pull any thug pirate into contract with me and the Paramount Chiefs. I was on my own, but the Paramount Chiefs uh, have an interest in the land. They have an interest, not a financial interest, but an interest in the land. And that's what this government here, New South Wales and New Zealand, failed to put this Manukau chief, paramount chief name on their title. That's the offence. That is offence against the 1952, 1952 Land Act, Land Transfer Act, that any name supposed to go on the title of Cook Street, whether it be financial or not, that name supposed to be on that title before it got transferred. It didn't. They just transferred it without putting that name on. Now they're in real trouble because that's a British title with the name Monaco on it. Okay, so that's that. So with the shares, the shares we've got these products. Hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, jet fuel, solid metal hydrogen, oxygen as the product and for refrigeration of uh, the Moai Bauhaus Bank and we've got fraud cases as the second product in the shares and the third and most crucial one is the sale of the trillion pound notes to all the banks of the world. Now this is only one bank I'm talking about in the ANZ in New Zealand. <coughs> <coughs> will sell a trillion pounds to all the banks in New Zealand after ANZ and drop its rate. The rate at the moment of interest is 5.7%. I'll sell the bank, the pound note, for 4%. That equates to 80,000, oh, 80 million, sorry, 80 million New Zealand dollars or 40 million pound notes British, Great Britain pound notes, just on interest to go into the shareholders on this side and your little 25 pound is going to have a slice of that. How about it? Does that make sense? It's taken me over 20 years to think this one out as a mechanic and it works. I had the site working all by myself in 2015. It was working perfect back as far as 2012. TakePay was working, the mobile phone was working. You could transfer money straight out and people were putting money in. But I stopped because I wasn't making any money yet until now. So people buy a share, it's guaranteed. The big companies that build the projects for us, the buildings, the houses, the high rise, the roads, the uh, turbines in the sea, platforms, the airports, for these new hydrogen powered Sabre Skylon rocket hydrogen powered planes will get to own them, you lot, on this side, once we let the pound note go. There will be no competition with the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust and its business. Okay, so people, Please uh, watch the site next week. I should have it up and running. If we haven't got the tag pay join, because I have to go back through Singapore 
to get to here, I'm going to call um, Take Pay France to set up a contract with them direct so that we can have it straight to us. It saves the fees. There's only a 20 cent fee to transfer 100,000 straight from one mobile to the other through Take Pay. 100,000 without any problems. They haven't had a glitch in it since 2008 when I first started with them. <coughs> Not a Raju, brass Raju missing. It's the safest churches. Well, not churches, you see. They're not safe either. They're safe as a boiled egg, encased in shell, until you break it. Um, so, um, that's the, the, the scenario case we're in at the present time. We're lacking funds, but I'll tell you, I'll guarantee you, when we get going, she's going to take off. The companies that come in, a minimum of one million, gets them a license to build or provide all their products. That's steel, generators, uh, construction, uh, all that you can think of. Build the buildings, all, everything in the house, houses, roads, material, all of that gets a license. It costs them a million bucks to get in this lot. We're not talking little baby figures here. We're going for the top. And so that's more for the shareholders. You'll find your mobile phone. We pay out every week. What you get is what you get. The insurance is covered for you personally. Your home is covered personally. We get the homes. Your travel is insured. And your death is insured because it's just the mobile phone number we need, really. We didn't need all the other details, but we want to make sure you get your money at the right place, in the right bank. We're using banks and their facilities because at the moment we don't have a bank. <coughs> we don't need banks. <coughs> it's all electronic. We're going to have a, a limited amount, limited edition of pound notes and a limited edition of gold coins. The gold is all missing. These pound notes will find that gold and we put a hold right over 970 million trillion trillion pound one of single pound note right over everything stolen, missing or hidden. Okay, we don't have to go and look for it. It's there. We just build them. The British are responsible to recover the debts through ANEX a Y A N A Y A N X invoice company. They're still waiting for me to action those invoices. They're stacking up and I warn the owners of Cook Street it's going up a trillion pounds a day on each of you, forty three people who got in my way. You all thought it was a joke. It's no joke, it's serious because you people only just occupy the land. You only occupy the land as tenants, right through this country, right through the world. Okay? Now, now you better not get smart. I see you've removed all your accusations against me. It's too late. I'm going after you for doing that to me. You had no right to underestimate what I can do to you, because I'm holding all the titles here to the country and the land you're standing on and defrauding other people want to use it at the same time. So now, buy a share, get a share free in hydrogen, jet fuel, rocket, metal fuel of the future. Bulk. Okay, that's for that and the power note and the gold coin. So that's all for there. Um, um, with the chiefs, the Paramount chiefs, uh, they're having a meeting on the 20th, I think, of this month. And we're going to have this all wrapped up before the 28th. And this is a warning, 20th of October. This is a warning to you, Peter Peroni, New Zealand government. Yeah, uh, Waitangi National Trust, NZ Invest Limited. Your companies are now debtors against the Maui Crown King William IV Trust private company. None of your business. That's how it works.
but Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited is one of a trillion shares parent company here that's putting this writ of execution warrant <coughs> and writ of control and possession and writ of property seizure right over your heads. Each and every one of you. Tim Duffy, CIB, you, I warned you, I told you, there's going to be a trespass notice on you. You put one on me. I have a legal right under this flag to put a trespass notice on you and build the hell out of you. You're going to pay. You're going to pay for what you did to me. I'm not worrying about those marshals. They just didn't have a clue how to execute a property rate. I gave them a property writ and they stuffed it all up, including Gavin Marish, the biggest thug of them all. You, Gavin, you are on the Satan side. That's why you don't come near that Mariah up there. You'll get bowled out. You turn your head up there, you'll get bowled out by these Paramount Chiefs because you're the thug that ran that racket with those boys. You, I put you in charge of that, and you, the dirty little sod fat boy, didn't sign with those boys. You just stood off and hid away when the police came to your office. You put the big padlock and locked yourself in. How timid of you. How timid and useless were you to hide from the police. And the police let you go. What a corrupted man you are, and the police, to let you go and for us to get arrested. You and Kawanata Paul, you both, Kawanata got arrested in the end for something else. But then they ended up in court, they got off. Now you fellas tell me how the hell did you fellas get off? What did you fellas use to get off? And whose lawyer did you use? Whose barrister did you use? Did you use mine? Because I'm going to find out. My private investigator will find out what Shannon Withers does. He's got a trillion pounds right on his head right now, on this video. I'm citing him. All you thugs in this country New Zealand are going to get caught. whole lot of you. The whole lot of you. Well, it, the whole parliament. you all got a trillion pounds on your head right now on this video. It's the monetary value of fraud that goes against you and your boss, the Governor-General, Patsy Reedy, and the other one, Jerry Mathapurai, your ambassador in Britain. I'm going to sack him over there and lock him up when I get there. I'm going to lock the Queen up too. I'm going to hang them. Because the acts here say so in this book that the police have got here and the courts have got here and you Tai Troy lawyer and the Paramount Chiefs and everybody around the world online picking it off my website. Now, nobody's going to get away with it because that's the King's laws. We haven't used them yet. We're just about to. We're the only ones that are allowed to use the Admiralty Court Martial Law legally and legitimately because Pope Francis got rid of all the Admiralty laws in here in America. So, Donald Trump, this is a warning to you. You cannot use the court martial laws as a state of emergency, declaration of war on anybody. And you've already put a declaration of war on uh, Iran and North Korea. You're in trouble, mate. You're in trouble with me and this and the Paramount Chiefs here and Britain. You have no right because the Pope Francis has destroyed your laws. You can't do it because he knew it's all fraud. And he's fraud too. So, he's, I'm afraid, you, you can't do that. Because the British are watching you, watching me, telling you what you can and can't do. You can't do what we do. It's been taken away from you. In the Holy See, all the churches in your country are corrupted to buggery. All the Catholic churches in the world are corrupted. Save the one here in Hokianga and Te Ungawaka Marae. Save that one. Because that's the one that's working with me.
to pull it all back. Okay? I'm in the St. Mary's Church and the St. Patrick's Church. St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh, Scotland, Holy Grab, that's my church, and St. Patrick's in Northern Ireland, Belfast, that's my other church, and my family, the Rogans and the Cosgroves, there, to the Wanoas here, and East Island, and right there, Island, Tahiti. <coughs> there, that's my coat of arms, <coughs> and my title to Moai crown. Royal family, more royal than that bitch of a queen, Elizabeth II, and her royal useless family is not royal. They can all move off to the Netherlands where she went into the EU Parliament. She can go over there, get the hell out of Westminster because those Muslims have told her if she doesn't join the Muslims, she's got to go. Well, the Muslims probably is our friend. We're going there anyway, to England. And the Queen, you, you're going to get booted out because you're sailing on your own ship. Now, you've abandoned this ship of Admiralty. You've abandoned King William the Third and King William the Fourth Dutchman, who happen to own the Netherlands, where you've gone to to hide underneath King William the Third. That's our king in our pound notes that's going to go right over your head and your Rothschild family. Anyway, I think that's about all. The, the main part of this message today is that I'm going to now carry on with the website, get the shares going again, and get tag pay going through Singapore, but I'll contact um, tag pay in France to try and get a direct line through. Uh, in the meantime, you can deposit direct into our NZ account in Auckland. It's on the site there, you just push the button and it'll go straight through to put your £25 in. Um, that way, you'll have a, a direct um, line into what's happening with Cook Street and all the rest of the lands in this country, the whole country. We're going to see the whole country with this rip of control and possession through the British military and Navy. They can walk this whole title out and start again, the same as what they did at Kororareka in Oka Okiato Native Magistrate Court up in Bear Violence, Russell, <coughs> and shifted it to Awaroa in Helensville and set up Auckland from there. See, we're going back to that same situation again. They'll seize all the titles and then put it into the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. Take it away from the Manukau title and put it right through the world in the new British state uh, Commonwealth building, Bil Br British <coughs> Empire state building in Cornwall Park, Auckland, New Zealand, will be the centre of the hub of the world, and my crown, federal state Commonwealth government of the world, and Britain, dual government. Okay, that's all. Somebody's after me, I think it's here. Have a nice day. We'll see you later. Bye for now. John Wanar. Auckland, New Zealand. Smart.